，有洗衣机，贴洗衣机，太好了！他这简直就是……我们要不要一个礼拜的住军？<笑>在 the last episode, we landed in Tokyo by Eva Airline. We now have to find our way to our hotel in Otemachi near Tokyo Station. The fastest way and cheapest way is using Narida Express. There was a bit of a queue, but wasn't too bad. From Narida Airport to Tokyo Station, there's 17 stops in between, and it takes about an hour. So we can prepare with our JR pass, as we will be travelling to Osaka and Kyoto. If you're planning to travel to more than one city by train, I'd highly recommend that you get a JR pass. It could save a small fortune for you, as railway in Japan, just like the UK, is extremely expensive. So we could have used the JR pass to cover the journey, but we didn't realise that. So we actually pay for the Narita Express ticket. Which is about three thousand yen each. Well, you live and learn. There's pretty generous luggage space on both ends of each carriage. All announcements were in multiple languages, so it was pretty reassuring. The seats are nice and clean, and pretty good lay room. Yokohama ni deisha itashimasu. 7号車から12号車は。Suffice to say, at this point, we're starting to feel the impact of early morning and the flight. We will soon make a brief stop at Tokyo Station. But we need to soldier on, as we need to find a taxi. 何ホテルって言いました？あのアスコット？アスコットって聞いたことないです。あ、そうですか。はい。多分新しいホテルかもしれない。近いで僕行ったことないと思うんですよ。多分。Basically, the driver has no idea where the hotel is, and has nothing to do with my dubious Japanese. Turned out, our hotel was so new, it wasn't even on the satnav system. But for Japanese cab drivers, if it's not on their satnav system, it might as well not exist. And I tried to show him the location on a Google map, but the guy just wouldn't have it. But finally, we made it. One thousand yen later. Which is twice of the normal amount. I don't believe the guy was trying to rip us off, but this is a prime example of too much dependence on the system and not enough common sense. And my God, our hotel room is big. There's a living room, the bedroom, an office area, and a fully working kitchen. Oh, have a bowl. Clue number one. Clue number two. This is getting ridiculous. Okay, I must stress that this room size is not typical in Tokyo anywhere, even with premium prices. I think just by sheer luck, we managed to book a hotel that maybe used to be luxury apartments or something like that, because the facility is not typical for a hotel at all. I mean, you don't normally get a full-size washing machine. But hey, I'm not complaining. The only downside was we knew the chance of getting another room like this on this trip was pretty remote. So in other words, we peaked, and the journey has just begun. Well, on that note, and with this view, see you next time.